Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with a new video and today's hair is sponsored by Tanache Hair. Now as you can see from the beginning of the video what style this is going to be today. So uh, before we get into the whole install I'm just showing you guys quickly everything that's inside of the packaging and of course you have the wig itself. So once you open up the box you do get a lot of little goodies in the bag, caps, edge brushes, combs, etc. And of course you get that Tanache's you know informational card about their social sites and how to care for their hair and of course you will get the wig and today's wig is a 26 inch 13 by 4 hd lace frontal wig full parting space ear to ear and like i mentioned it's a 26 uh, inch straight and for today's style we're just going to do a nice little bust down the middle with some big dramatic you know soft baby hairs and it's going to be simple cute and quick so for starters i'm going to make this more so like a low hairline type of video because the way that i installed this wig is um and I, I totally did it completely different than you know like my normal steps that i do so today um i will be doing everything basically like completely different so let me know what you guys think about this method that i do today and you know how you feel about the overall look overall so for starters um nika does have like a low hairline so everything that i did pluck it literally got cut off today so I'm gonna show you guys how I improvised that and you know how I had to go back in and kind of like still make it look natural but before we do that what I did was put the wig on her head you know cut some of that extra lace from around the ears I didn't want to cut too much because sometimes when you do cut it you might cut it you know too much off and once you cut that extra off you can't get that back so I'm just gonna cut off just a little bit you know just enough to you know get the wig to lay down nice and flat and then anything extra I will cut off once I actually glued the wig down and then of course for the layers um, today I'll be doing three layers but I just you know briefly showed you guys me adding on the first layer but I did do three layers and of course you know we are using my glue for my brand and I know you guys will keep asking on every post that I make when it's the restock the restock is coming soon it will be this month so make sure you guys stay tuned for the end of the month sale okay so nevertheless now that I have all layers on I'm gonna put this wig on and I'm going to stretch it all the way down and like I said y'all this is a low hairline video tutorial but it is a simple bust down the middle so as you can see as I stretch that wig all the way down the wig is damn near touching Nika's eyebrows okay <laughs> but don't worry don't get your panties in a bunch <laughs> okay because we are going to have to like recustomize this whole um wig as far as me having to go in and pluck you know again because everything that I plucked is about to get cut off and I know sometimes us as stylists we have this issue and it is so frustrating it could be aggravating because it's like dang i sat there and plucked everything just for it to get cut off but i'm going to show you guys how i customize it to you know fit her better once i had to do this step so um i placed the wig and now i'm going back in some more and cutting extra lace from around the ears again because you don't want the wig to be folded on top of the client's ear because after a while it's going to irritate them and like it can give you migraines when you have too much pressure applied around your ear and then after i did that i just went in with the blow dryer on the heat setting and just blow dried all of that in so y'all already know what step um you know comes next after this so well actually you don't well you do but you don't usually after i blow dry you know a hot comb and i apply the melt belt but like i said for the method today y'all i did things totally different so after i blow dry this i'm actually gonna go ahead and cut off the extra lace first and kind of like prep the whole style and then show you how i customize it to fit her hairline so just pay attention to these next few uh clips so you can see what i'm doing
So I went in, well, I'm going in with the razor and I'm just razoring off all of the extra lace. And just, you know, because you didn't tie it down to really secure it completely, just make sure that when you are cutting off the extra lace that you're still pushing um, that lace into that glue because we didn't do the whole melting in process as of yet. But don't worry guys, this method still came out bomb as you've seen from the thumbnail. Like the overall style is bomb. So just bear with me y'all as I switch it up a little bit. You know, I'm trying to shake the room just a little bit. So, um, you know, now I'm going in still raising off the extra lace. And what I'm gonna do after I raise off the extra lace is actually begin to actually prep the style out. Still guys, once again, still not using the melt belt as of yet. The melt belt is not coming until the end, okay? So um, I'm raising that lace off and then I'm gonna, you know, continue to smoothen out her middle part and I'm going to apply, uh, you know, the wax and everything like that. But first, of course, you know, we gotta get that lace to blend some more. So I'm going back in with that Ruby Kisses foundation using level 16 palette and I am using the lighter shade in that palette and I'm applying it all over the front of their hairline. Okay, so it could be nice and, you know, blended. So now we're gonna go ahead and go in and just, you know, clean up that part. And then our wax stick, of course, the glam wax stick, I will be going in with that and applying that around that parting area to hot comb and sleek that area nice and, you know, flat. So um, once I do that, I will begin to pull down a section of the uh, for her baby hairs. And I'm gonna show you guys how I plug and customize that because like I mentioned, everything that I plugged got cut off. So I know I had to go back in and you know make sure i do some extra work but it's also a great technique so if you ever have that issue you would know what to do based on this video here and i'm gonna show y'all how we made that thing work So what I'm doing now is uh, sectioning off the baby hair section and I wanted to kind of give it like that V look somewhat in the front. So um, that's why I'm going so far back into the hairline and just pulling the hair out. So right now it looks like, dang, that's, you know, a lot of hair for baby hairs. But don't worry, trust the process. We are going to do a lot of plucking in that area, but I really wanted to get like that little V um, type of, like that little V hairline a little bit. Um, in the front so that's why I went so far back in into the wig hairline and pulled it forward but like I said guys trust the process we are going to do a lot of plucking around that area but before we get to plucking I'm just gonna take the hot comb smooth all of that back and you know you know away from the face just to get it nice and sleek and then see what we're working with and then we're gonna go in with some fresh tweezers and pluck that thing out nice and thin so it looks more natural because right now it's giving a little Elvis. Yeah, and you know, we don't rock our laces like that. So I'm um, just prepping the hot comb and smoothing it out with that wax stick. And then we're gonna go in with those pluckers and pluck, 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 pluck. Now, when you are plucking this area, be very mindful, still take your time. You know, it looks like I'm going really fast, but keep in mind you guys that this video is sped up. But um, as you pluck onto that hairline, make sure you are applying pressure with your fingertip on the edge of the lace and then going in with the tweezers, you just want to pull those hairs out and thin it out a little bit. And over time, you will got, you know, you guys will see that it's looking more natural in that area. And we're gonna do the same exact thing for my baby hair sections. We're going to pluck the heck out of that area. And I know you guys are looking like, dang, does that plucking hurt on the client's head? Honestly, it does not. Just be very careful, okay? Um, but she did not complain that it was hurting at all. She didn't say it was irritating or anything. So just pluck, 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 pluck. Be careful. Don't pinch their skin. Don't go too hard that you pluck a hole in the lace. Just take your time and pluck those hairs out. So you will see over time as I'm plucking in these areas that are going to thin out more and more and more. Because like I said, you do not want your baby hairs to be too thick. So just focus, pluck, and be patient because it does take some time. It does take some time, y'all.
Okay guys, so now that one side is complete, we're gonna do the same exact thing to the other side. We're going to pull down the baby hair sections, going deep inside that hairline to really create that little V shape in the front. And then we're gonna pluck the hell out of that, um, that area. And the same with the sideburn, just not too much because I do like a full sideburn. So I'm gonna, um, you know, even it out as you know, much as possible for both sides. And then we're gonna do the same exact thing we did to the other side pluck 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 behind the hairline well behind the baby hair section and of course the baby hairs itself and then also plait that out, out the way and smooth everything else around it And of course, once again, going in with that wax stitch just so we can hot comb and smooth all of that down and get that nice, sleek, and shiny, healthy look to the wig, okay? So be very careful when you're hot combing around the ear. You do not want to burn your client. So be please very, very, very careful. But once I get that section out of the way, I'm going to do the same exact thing. Go in with those tweezers and pluck, pluck, pluck. Hold the lace down into place as you plug so it does not lift. And yeah. Then that thing on out so it could be nice and, you know, just not like that. You want it to be very, very thinned out so your baby hairs can look as, you know, soft and natural looking as possible or dramatic depending on what type of baby hair person you are.
and as you can see the big difference on how it started versus how it's going okay and another key thing that I did uh, to thin out that baby hair section some more is I split the baby hair section in half and plucked underneath it and then went back in and plucked on top and then put it all together and plucked some more and that also made it you know that also prevented me from putting ball spots in my baby hairs as well because sometimes you just be plucking 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 and you don't pay attention so that's why I split the baby hair in half when I also did the plucking so I could thin out the bottom part of it thin out the top and then when I put it all together thin it out some more so but now that we have the baby hair sections sectioned off that's when we will go ahead and go in and take the holding spray finally after pretty much completing the whole style <laughs> we're gonna go in with that holding spray spray that hairline down and I'm going to use two melt belts um, to really secure the lace down so um, but once again I'm gonna go in with that foundation again because I felt like I was still getting like a little light shadow cast so I'm gonna go in again with that uh, Ruby Kisses foundation tap that um, lace again and then I'm gonna take my olive oils wig fix it you know holding spray and then apply that well spray that on the hairline and then tie it down with two melt belts but while that melt belt is sitting we're just going to go ahead and kill some time by pressing out the hair so i will be using my fantasia's heat protectant and my flat iron and just pressing the hair out nice and straight
and this is what it looks like after completing one side and then of course this is looking, uh, what it looks like after completing both sides and I'm just going to take a little bit more of that uh, Fantasia's heat protecting spray on the left side of her head because I needed to you know make sure it was nice sleek and shiny but the best part of it all removing that melt bell where you can really get to see your melt down so um, I'm going to remove both of those melt bells and of course y'all know we're going to slay the heck out of these baby hairs nice and dramatic give me a second y'all to me i'm gonna do that little melt out all okay but yes as y'all can see it's giving a girl a scalp natural tease period oh nika be the bees in the back y'all just ignore that child Ooh, <laughs> just act like y'all ain't see that <laughs> but um we're gonna go ahead and do the other side you know smooth it out of course and i'm just gonna start by um parting off that thin section in the back because y'all know we do have the tracks in the back and I'm going to hot comb the hair over the tracks so it is nice and seamless and we don't see no tracks on the top of her head. And then I'm going to do the same exact thing to the other side real quick. Part that section off, hot comb it over the tracks so everything is nice and seamless. And then I'm going to comb out that holding spray that's in the edges. And then we're going to cut, curl, and swoop. Okay, so now that we have the baby hairs all curled up, the first thing I'm gonna do is comb it out and kind of rough draft how I want it to be. And then for the baby hairs today, I will just be using that same olive oil holding spray. And like I always mention, you guys, focus on applying it on the root of the baby hair first and then do everything else. Once you get that root into place, it will help you swoop, will kind of help your baby hair land where you need it to be and it will be easier for you to swoop it once you start by securing that root with that holding spray if you are using this method, okay? Same thing for the gel. You wanna always start with the root of the baby hair first whenever you're trying to secure it and then work your way to the ends. So this is the first baby hair after doing it with the holding spray. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the sideburn. Comb it out first, going in with that root with that holding spray and flipping the ends, you know, to do that little hole, little swirl method, okay? So pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, easy to do because once you curl the baby hair, it just makes this process so much more easier for you. And it kind of just goes with the flow instead of you having to force your hair to curl and to stay put. So um, I'm going to just continue to do that till I get that desired look from the baby hair and then we'll move on to the other side.
And as y'all can see, child, we is getting Nika all the way together. Hair hey, is laid, period. Yes, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I love this little bust down right here, okay? That new little method I did today, it did its big one. It did its big one. So let me know what y'all think down below. Like, I don't know. And I just felt like when I did it like this, it made the whole installation process so much more faster. Because, you know, usually when you... um do that melt belt step like twice you gotta wait like 10 minutes and all of that extra stuff so i felt like you know this installation process was much faster because i pretty much did the whole style first and then tied it down so y'all try that method out and let me know if y'all like it or if y'all like the original you know my original method of me doing my installs with the two um you know the two tie downs and the waiting the 10 minutes and all that like uh, Either way it goes, the style was given, the hair was laid, and that's all that matters. So I'm just adding a little holding spray to catch them flyaways at the top. And last but not least, what I'm going to do is just take my uh, black spray, lay my comb in the middle, spray around the part. And off camera, I did just slide a little concealer in the part. Y'all know how that part go. Y'all didn't see us do it a million and one times. But this is pretty much the end of the ropes once I do this, um, what is it called? high beams black spray uh for the part i will conceal it like i said off camera and then drop the finishing look let me know what y'all think down below though this video was popping in my opinion but i want to know what y'all think make sure y'all forget um y'all don't forget to you know give this video a thumbs up like comment subscribe and i think we're gonna end off this you know slay series um with this video here and then we'll get into another series once again um probably starting next week so out of all the videos that you guys see in this slay series let me know which y'all you know which one was y'all favorite we have a total of six videos just you know some cute little simple stuff okay but Stay tuned for the Slay Series Part 3 because this is Part 2 and we're going to be working on Part 3. But let me know what y'all think down below. Once again, this hair is from Tanache Hair. This is what the hair looks like, 26 inch straight. Okay, period. Let's get into it. Use them descriptions down below, y'all. Get them coupon codes. All right, now. See y'all on the next series. Bye.